What is up you guys? This is Spidey1997 doing another Transformers review. Today we're finally going to be taking a look at the new Transformers The Last Night Optimus Prime Voyager class. And man, oh man, I haven't reviewed Transformers in a long time and I really miss reviewing Transformers. Uh, I've been reviewing a lot of Marvel Legends lately, and a lot of you guys uh, are asked or commenting on my video saying, why can't you go back to reviewing Transformers? And I'm not going to lie, guys. Personally, for me, in my personal opinion, you guys can disagree, but I, I personally think that the Transformer figures nowadays are, are crap because all of them are just repaints. The plastic quality is not even that good, and they just, they just feel very cheap. Now, don't get me wrong, I still like some Transformers nowadays, some Transformers figures now, but in, in general, I haven't been buying Transformers a lot lately. Like, the last time I bought a Transformer was probably Masterpiece, Masterpiece uh, Bumblebee uh, Toys R Us in Toys R Us. So that was the last Transformer toy I bought. Um, now I bought this guy because I just, I just got him today at Toys R Us and, you know, I saw the new one, so very nice. So, let's take a look at the packaging. You got a nice picture of Optimus Prime. Transformers, Optimus Prime, Transformers The Last Night. Very nice image of Optimus Prime. A prototype of his, not pro, yeah, prototype of the figure and the vehicle mode and Grimlock just to repaint from Age of Extinction. The bottom, nothing here. Transformers, and that's it for the packaging. It's just simple. Now, this figure is just outstanding. I think Hasbro killed it with this Voyager Optimus. Um, way, way better than the leader class. Now, before I say that, let's do a size comparison with the leader class. And you tell me which one is better. I personally think this guy just kills it. Look at that. The robot mode is just more cleaner. The back is just a it's just full of crap like this. Look at that. That's just horrible. I think they did a horrible job with this figure. Um, I don't know. This figure just sucks now. I, I, I think it just... I, th I wish this figure never existed. This figure is just a, re a refresh. You know, just a, a refreshing... Optimus Prime figure from the the new mo movie, so that's nice. So let's take that aside, and let's take take a look at the accessories that he comes with. Now he comes with a shield that is just very small, in my opinion. I wish this was bigger. It's painted with just a baby blue color, um, you know, just gray plastic, nothing at the bottom, just you know, molded details, but not painted. Uh, same with the shield. The hand was just a a a, a, a dull gray plastic with some orange paint for the sword so that's nice um you know uh, orange is a little goofy for a sword i kind of wish they painted it like in the like in the uh image if i can find it like this for example i wish they painted the sword like that but that's okay and yeah and you can store if you can as you can see there's a slot right here and you can store the sword like that and i think that is just out really cool you can actually make them have him like he's gonna pull out the sword out of his back so that is very nice i really really do dig that now taking out the sword let's take you know the detail on this guy is just really good i really like it the paint is very nice no paint splotch silver paint very nice silver right here on the biceps the head is just really good the heads the head sculpt is very nice very very nice just great plastic on the smokestacks unfortunately but that's fine uh just great plastic on the feet as well and on the trailer hitch uh, the rest is just a dark gray with silver paint and red and blue so that's nice and the metallic blue on the forearms and yeah that's pretty much it for paint apps and oh of course the silver on the this cr crotch piece so that's nice Overall, I really, really like this guy. He still has back kibble, but not as much as the leader class, so that's good. Very, very nice. I, I think this is just much cleaner than the leader class. Uh, I'm really glad they didn't do that stupid backpack like they did in the leader class. So, to transform him in his vehicle mode, first you want to do is slide these down. You want to untab the shoulder piece out of his ch uh, the side of his chest. Put the head down. And you just want to bring this up like so. Bring this down. This is a tab right here, as you can see. And there's a tab right there. And that's going to go in that groove right there. Tab that in. This peg just goes here. Puts it in like so. And you do the same thing on the other side. Like so. 
bring this forward and there you go that is it for that next thing you want to do is well I forgot to do this but usually you just rotate the waist around uh, I'm not going to show you the articulation because a lot of people review this figure already so there's not it's not very, very necessary to show it because a lot of people review this guy already so I'm just going to show you the transformation so basically what you do is be, uh, bring the crotch piece in untab the uh, feet like so and yeah this is very tricky um, just untab the feet untab this rotate that because it's on a swivel and then you just bring the feet in and there's a tab right there and that's going to go in that peg right there like so same on the other side bring that down tab it in like that and then you're going to what you're going to do is bring the leg up like so and then, oh, before I do, uh, bring this gray piece like that, just right here, like so. And then you're just going to tab all this together, like so. Next thing you want to do is you just bring this piece like that. And as you can see, there's like a little groove right there is the camera can pick it up like that just tab that in all the way the feet go here make sure the feet is tabbed in very nicely and I'm sorry if I'm not getting all this in the frame but yeah so you just bring this like that tab this in let me bring the, the camera down so you guys can get a better look at what I'm doing Bring this down. Oh, before I do tab these in, to form the bumper or the grill of the truck, you just want to do rotate this forward and snap that in to form the grill. Same on the other foot. Rotate that, peg it in like so. It's a little messy and my watch went off, but that's okay. Just, there you go. And next thing you do is you bring this, tab it in like so tab all this together like that and it's not tabbing in properly I think it's because I'm mis misplaced something here. Let's see oh there you go all right hopefully that's tabbed in there you go and then you bring this and this is on a hinge snap that put that or uh, move it forward Tab it in, do the same thing on the other side, tab it in, make sure everything is nice and tight, okay, and last but not least, you bring the roof in and tab it in. And there you go. There he is in vehicle mode. And I got to say, guys, this is a, like, wow. The vehicle mode, really good. I think this is just better than the leader class, in my personal opinion. Um, the grill, very nice, painted. The blue stripes. The flames, very simple, but still nice. The sides, so silver paint. I kind of wish they painted chrome instead of silver, but that's all right. And the back, not too hollow. The back, of course, that's for his sword. But that's okay. And this is the bottom and the front yeah so yeah i really like this figure and you can store the the sword in like so and you can store the shield as well so let me just tap this in there you go so that's all i have to say for this guys so please comment subscribe please give this video a big thumbs up if you really enjoyed this video and this is spidey1997 signing out and have a great day thanks for watching guys